We've already taken a look at the actions panel. And if you have several images within a folder or in a project that you're working on that all need the same actions applied, you don't have to open them up one at a time and then apply your action. There's a great function called batch that we can take advantage of that will allow us to run these actions on several images at the same time. Let's take a look and see how that works. So the batch automations, which can be found in the file menu under automate and then batch, are controlled by what you have in the actions panel. So make sure that you come over here and either click the actions icon or you can also open the actions panel from the window menu. Anyway, open the actions panel and make sure that you have something that you're going to want to do to multiple images. Uh, in this case, I'm just gonna select watermark because it's the easiest. Um, but make sure there's something in here and we talk about the actions panel in a different video which you can click on this annotation and if the annotation isn't showing up, then I'll put the link in the description. But anyway, make sure you have an action that you want to apply to several images. Because what we're going to do now is click on File and then Automate Batch. So from here, the set, I'm just going to go down to Watermark. Maybe, maybe not. Watermark. And then the only action in the Watermark set is also labeled Watermark, as you can see down here in the Actions panel. Now I'm going to choose my source, which will be a folder. Click on Choose. And I'm going to go up here to band shots, hit choose, and then destination. I'm going to have a different folder, which uh, let's create a new folder and call it watermarked band shots. Okay. Choose. Okay. These bottom options right here will give you a couple of different ways to name your new images. And so right now we have document name and extension, but what I want to do is I'm going to give it a four digit serial number, let's say. You can see there's a couple of other options, uh, such as the date, a serial letter, document name. So you can document name it twice, extension or none. I'm going to give it a four digit serial number. And then after that is when I'm going to put the extension. And as you can see, there are even two options for extension. There's uppercase and lowercase. And the only difference, as you can see right over here in the example, is it's either uppercase or lowercase. Okay, so I'm going to choose lowercase. Starting serial one. And once I have this, I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK. Now, what this is going to do is the source folder that we chose was band shots. And then the destination folder was watermark band shots. So it's going to take all of the images inside band shots watermark them or do whatever we have the action set to right here in the top and then dump them to the folder we just created called watermarked band shots so if we included all subfolders then any folders inside band shots would also be affected but for now all this stuff i'm just going to leave as it is compatibility windows whatever Stop for errors, yes. Always want to stop for errors just because I need to know if something's gone wrong, especially if you're up against a deadline. If you have 25,000 images to change, you need to know when Photoshop has stopped changing the images for you. Okay. Just hit OK. And watch as Photoshop opens all of the images, creates a text layer. and then saves every one of these shots. So once you're through all the images, the watermarking process is complete. Now you have watermarked every one of those images. Alternately, you can open several images, which if we go back here to band shots on the desktop, I'm just gonna open the first few here. Hit open. Let's say we have a couple open from something that we've been working on and we just want to automate a quick batch, watermark them all or whatever we're gonna do. Go back up to file, hit automate, and then select batch again. And instead of source being the folder, the source now is gonna be opened files. So anything that we have opened in Photoshop, that's what we're gonna save and we're gonna save it using our previous save options. Hit okay. So now it's applying the watermark and we'll just hit save and replace 
And we'll do this a couple of times until we've saved everything in this manner. Another option, of course, if you just want to continue working with each of those images, is Destination None. So here, we're going to apply Molten Lead to every one of the open files. Hit OK. And now you'll see it's going to go through each one of these files and just add this weird looking Molten Lead option. Once that completes, you'll notice that each one of the images that we have open has this Molten Lead option applied. And now we can continue working with each one of the images. And the last option in Automate Batch is Save and Close. So essentially that would save the original file and then just close it. So that's all for the batch function. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe below and send any questions that you might have to requests at mahalo.com. Thanks for watching.